Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew and today in this video I'm going to walk you through how to make custom templates for Substance Painter. Um, it's really, really easy to do and I highly recommend that you create one of these yourself for any production environment sort of use. Um, so let's get started. Um, so I'm just going to start with new project and you can see I already have a custom template that I've made before loaded up by default. Um, in this case, it's an Arnold 5 high quality Asus CG template. Um, obviously, you can customize this for whatever your needs are, but um, I actually have two here. I have one that's just like a normal sRGB and then one that's to handle any Asus CG. Um, color work. Um, I also have it set to OpenGL by default. Um, so, so this is cool. The reason why this is cool is that um, if you get new artists in and they're starting fresh with Substance Painter, um, this template holds a whole bunch of settings. It's it's sets um, like environment lights and export templates and shading quality parameters and basically anything in your current session it will save as a starting default so so this is really useful because you can really start to get into like a set and forget um, sort of workflow so uh, I'm just gonna load up a model I have um, and we'll run through it so by default, uh, for my own template, um, my template loads a, a custom HDRI that's already pre-encoded to Asus CG. Um, it's already loaded the color LUT for me, so in this case it's Asus CG as well. Um, in the viewer, I've got my shading parameters, the shading quality set to high by default. Um, and I've also got a custom ID channel, which is set by default. And this is very cool because um, by default, you don't get a standard user ID. Um, and if you've got 50 texture sets to go through and add that by hand, I can tell you that is a pain in the butt. <laughs> so by creating a template that's already got it in there, it means every new uh, texture set will already have this ID. You don't have to go back in and manually create it for the remaining 49 texture sets. So that's super duper useful. Um, and the the best thing of all is the export template. So this, by creating a custom user template, it also saves your export template configuration, which is awesome. So um, it means you won't get artists clicking the, the wrong Arnold 4 or 5 version or, you know, Redshift, whatever you're uh, using uh, basically this is already pre-configured and you don't need to do anything and you can see I've got a bunch of my own um, maps with my own naming convention already set up from the start and I never need to to worry about it so so this is really cool um, you can see it's also set it to EXR format so the the template will remember all of this stuff which is really really good so Basically, the way that you create a template is you would start fresh using whatever normal template um, you would normally start with. So, say metallic uh, roughness, um, and we can select Emily again. We'll set this to OpenGL. So, these are the settings we want by default. So, we'll we'll start that, and we can see now we've got the default configuration. Um, I don't have a custom ID channel. Uh, my shading parameters are set back to low. There's no color LUT active. So basically uh, you would set up your template from, from this sort of this point in time. Um, so that would mean you could load a HDRI um, if you want it visible um, you can make it visible and not blurry so that you can you can see it. I want that orientation. Say I want shadows on by default. Um, and let's say I want medium shader quality. I want to add a custom 
let's just say transmissive I always want transmissive to, to be there and let's just say I always want um, a rack 709 LUT to be available um, if we go export textures we'll see. so you can see this is jumped back to the default so let's just say I want uh, this to be my default export template um, with EXR okay so we can close that and now if we go save as template so this will bring up um, your location you basically name it so I'll call this one test template just save that so now if we start a new project um, we can see test template we'll select the geometry again and load this up and you can see all those settings that we just changed including the transmissive channel they've all been stored including the LUT so in a production environment this is really really useful um, and really easy to do and a lot of the times uh, overlooked so uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. It's only a quick video today. There will be more coming. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on how to manage Asus CG in Substance Painter very shortly. Um, and then a bunch of cool tips and tricks that I sort of stumble along during um, my daily work um, that I can share with you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. 